So I wanted to make a, a MAGA patriot type political talk here, uh, Trump talk. And because, uh, you know, if, if you're a, a MAGA person, you know, Trump's the best thing you got going right now, except for DeSantis. I'd say DeSantis would be the president that I would want. Because Trump, um, you know, a lot of people think if you make America great person, which that's all, I don't see anything with those word, wrong with those words, um, that you're a Trump supporter or a Trump Trump lover. But no, Trump Trump did a lot of things wrong. You know, I mean, he did more right than, than wrong. I mean, Biden hadn't done anything right. I mean, so, you know, if your choice is between Trump. But, I mean, you got to remember, uh, Trump left a, a, a traitor, that Milly traitor in, in charge of the military. And he never, and he, and he, he says in interviews that Milley had proposed to him leaving the military equipment behind, and he thought that was absurd. Well, I mean, any, any general that's telling you to leave $85 billion in military equipment in Afghanistan, you fire him. <laughs> you know, that's the, that's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. And Trump didn't fire him. And then, of course, you know, Biden just, you know, he, he loves Milley. And then, you know, the other thing that Milley was pu pushing down the, the neck of the military was that critical race theory. Another reason to fire him, okay? I don't know why Trump didn't fire him. Uh, another thing about Milley is the vaccine mandate. He's pushing that down. We've lost a lot of good military. I mean, we're, I mean, any empire that destroys its military has never survived. And uh, and so Milley is destroying the military uh, with, the, with the vaccine mandate. We've lost some Navy SEALs and we've lost a lot. So there's a big Trump problem right there. Why didn't Trump fire Milley? He knew he was a complete idiot, traitor. Well, back then he wasn't, you know, he hadn't been identified as a traitor, but when you propose him leaving $85 billion in equipment, which Trump says he did while he was in office, you fire him. So there you go. There's one thing that Trump did way wrong. Second thing, he was, uh, he's had himself, when the virus hit, Trump should have been able to figure out that he was getting bad advice. You know, I mean, he should have fired Fauci first thing. I mean, you know, once Fauci came in, and plus Fauci was torpedoing him behind his back, he's bound to have known that Fauci was torpedoing him. And then, of course, the, uh, the other people that Fauci has surrounded himself with were torpedoing Trump. So there's another huge flaw. I think Trump's judge of character was flawed, for sure. I mean, to, to leave Fauci in office, uh, making, you know, 450,000, highest paid government employee, a complete idiot in charge of the uh, CDC, I... I you know, that, that's a huge problem. So, I mean, Trump, he had a lot of people around him. So his judge of character or his uh, his inability to clean the swamp was a huge problem for the country. And uh, he left us in a lurch there. Uh, what was that? Uh, I guess that's probably the, the two biggest things, but those are devastating to us. Um, I can't think of anything else that I, I hated about Trump. Um, and that's why I keep telling you know, everybody goes, oh, you're a Trump guy, you're a Trump guy. No, I liked, uh, I liked the fact that he got us energy independent. I liked the economy uh, that, as it was in 2019. I thought he did a pretty good job. I love the treaties that he negotiated. The, uh, I love the, uh, the border wall and uh, the way he was trying to stop illegal immigration. Um, so there's a lot of things. And, you know, the treaty with, uh, well, heck, in the Middle East, you know, he moved the... Uh, the uh, embassy from uh, to Jerusalem. I was all for that. So there's a lot of good things that Trump did that were very positive for the country. But uh, he made some huge mistakes. Let's just put it that way. And uh, and so now we're all paying the price for having a traitor in charge of our military. Uh, and he's he's. I honestly think he's working. Milley's working for China. Because how else do you explain the fact that he's going to force these vaccine mandates and lose some of our best soldiers? You know he's. He's working to destroy the military. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, and then of course, the woke agenda, the critical race theory. Don't tell me Millie's not a traitor. That son of a gun and Trump didn't fire him. I don't know what he was thinking about. Uh, the other thing was, um, he should have seen that the Justice Department and the FBI were completely corrupt, you know. Uh, I, I'm not sure what he could have done about that because they're pretty firmly entrenched, you know. Uh, he did get rid of Comey, that was good. And, uh, and of course, he got rid of, um, uh, geez, I can't remember the other guy. So he did get rid of a few people there. So that, that, that was good. But he certainly didn't clean house, that's for sure. Any time. And he left people in there, you know, if they're going to take orders. For, and plus, the, uh, you know, the Attorney General, uh, Bill Barr, 
Now he did leave Durham with that investigation, so Bill Barr did do a little something for the country. But I'll just leave it right there. But I wanted to make a talking video because I'm tired of people identifying the MAGA movement with Trump, you know. It's not all about Trump. It's about what's right for the country or what we feel is right for the country. I don't believe in open borders like Biden does and the Democrats. I don't think that's a good thing for the country, you know. I don't believe in uh, um, <clears throat> taking down the Keystone Pipeline and eliminating all those union jobs, you know. Uh, Democrats are all for that. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't believe in critical race theory. Democrats are all for that. So you can kind of see, you know, where I'm coming from. All right, well, that's it for this video. I just wanted to make a brief talk that, that Trump wasn't perfect. And also, the, yeah, the other thing I wanted to say about Trump was that, uh, you know, he's got a pretty shady past. And a lot of people want to identify that and say, oh, you know, because I, I met a guy from New York and he was telling me about, you know, how Trump would uh, back out of contracts and, you know, rip people off and you know he probably did i'm not going to say that he's a good good person i mean i think he's okay you know i don't uh he's never done anything to me but you know then i didn't live in new york and and i do know you know he's got those bankruptcies behind him and uh so he's he's hurt some people for sure so you know i you know nobody's perfect I, although i haven't seen anything that desantis has done wrong and i haven't i don't think i've heard of anything in, uh, shady in his past you know, certainly Biden has more ghosts in his closet than Trump does. So, yeah, that's it for this video. You guys, peace out, stay free, and uh, I won't even do the mantra. All right. So I wanted to tack this on to the Trump video. And, uh, you know, a couple other things um, that, that I liked about Trump or his policies uh, was uh, the way he pulled us out of Afghanistan was uh, brilliant. You know, basically told the Taliban he's going to bomb them into the oblivion if they, uh, and for a year and a half, we didn't lose a single soldier in Afghanistan as he, as he did a drawdown. We only had 2,000 troops left there. And I think, uh, I don't think Trump would have given, well, I know he wouldn't have, he's, he stated publicly he would not have given the Taliban $85 billion of military equipment. And I doubt Trump would have gotten 13 service members killed, uh, no matter how you slice it. I also like the fact Trump, uh, he never started a war. You know, he's the first president in a long time that, uh, well, I mean, he took out ISIS and uh, uh, Soleimani. Um, so I like the I like the way he handled that. Plus, I think uh, I like the the way Trump. Uh, at least, you know, it looked like he respected the military. And uh, I, well, you know, I, there, I saw a video the other day where he he on Christmas he showed up in Iraq unexpected and hung out with the soldiers. So I I, don't, I you know I think the soldiers uh, liked Trump. Um, I don't know what their feelings are about Biden. I, I wouldn't want Biden uh, as my commander in chief. I can tell you that. So I think Trump's relationship with the military was pretty doggone good, and uh, the way he treated the soldiers was good. So, um, so that's the reason why you know when I say you know I'm a MAGA person, um, for the most part. Oh, and I like the fact that Trump lowered taxes. You know, Biden. All the Democrats want to do is uh, spend money and uh, raise your taxes. So, and I don't know why people are for that. And I don't know why Democrats were, are for what Biden did in Afghanistan. I mean, how can you support something like that? I mean, you know, if Trump did that, how would I call him out on it, man? I mean, if he pulled out and got 13 soldiers killed and left Americans behind enemy lines, no way. Trump would, uh, I'd, I'd be out campaigning against him. I wouldn't be campaigning for Biden. I'd be campaigning for the Green Party or the Libertarians or whatever. But uh, no, I mean, Trump, the way he did that drawdown was brilliant. And, uh, and I think the military, he treated them very well. I doubt very seriously that the jab requirement would have, would have happened under Trump. I don't think he would have done that. So, uh, and uh, certainly he wouldn't have been pushing because he was eliminating CRT, critical race theory. Uh, and so that was good. So you can see why I'm, what I'm saying is Trump made huge mistakes. He didn't, he didn't clean out the swamp. Oh, another thing that Trump did wrong was giving all that money to the pharmaceutical companies to develop the jab, okay? Um, you know, he basically made them rich. Uh, and then he comes out and says the jab is perfectly safe and uh, everybody should get it. That's not right, Trump. You know, I've, I, I haven't personally witnessed it, uh, but uh, I've heard that there's been a lot of people that have had complications with the jab. And, uh, and I think that's why, you know, uh, that's why, you know, when I see doctors and nurses that don't want to get the jab, I think that's a big red flag right there. 
you know, because if uh, what do they know that we don't know? I mean, you know, if you if it's perfectly safe, why would a nurse refuse to get it unless she's pregnant or something? Which uh, and that's another reason not to get the jab. But uh, so for Trump to come out and give all that money, plus I'm sure the pharmaceutical companies kicked back to Trump, so he probably got a lot of money because they're, they're the number one lobbyers in in, the, in Congress, and so I'm sure his campaign got a lot of money because they play the you know they burn that candle at both ends of pharmaceutical companies so that they can whatever administration's in there they're going to get all kinds of money. So for Trump to come out and say the vaccine is, is safe and everybody should get it, uh, you know I don't think he would force it on them. I disagree with him 100%. I've, I've seen too many stories about people that have had some major problems. I've heard of people dying from the jab, you know. And why are you going to put it on kids? So, all right, that's it for the Trump, hopefully the Trump video. But I thought about, you know, because he just came out recently and said, you know, yeah, I, he thought, you know, the jab was a good thing and people should get it. And uh, no, I disagree. Uh, you know, I understand it was developed under his administration, but that and that's the problem. I mean, we, we just keep feeding, feeding the machine, man, feeding those pharmaceutical companies. And, uh, and they did, you know, it's still, you, a lot of people don't understand the jab is still experimental at this point. You have no legal recourse. If you have complications from the jab, you're screwed, man. You can't sue anybody. You know, if somebody, if your family member dies, tough titty, man, you know, you're not going to be able to do anything with, about that. So anyway, all right, let's, uh, let's get back to hiking.